Hello guys, welcome back again to my channel Dami Dimension. My name is Dami. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the golden rule pattern. So this entire video is going to be showing you exactly how to scale this pattern to your respective sizes. So take note of this video because every other golden rule pattern that are going to be coming up on my channel is going to be me showing you how to cut on the fabric and make different styles that I'm going to be making. Okay, so let's get started, guys. So right here is the particular pattern that we are going to be drafting in this video. This, and when you open to the back of this sketch page, that is where you are going to find the pattern. And you can see they are numbered. This number 243 is the top that we're going to be drafting and number 244 is the trouser so that's how it actually it's actually numbered across the entire pattern pages so i'm opening to the back and you can see this is where we have all of the patterns and number 244 like uh 243 number 243 like i said is the top and here is it right here so that's what we are focusing on and we are going to be ignoring the rest of the pattern because we are not using that right now all right so looking through the instruction book it says that you need just two measurements in order to transfer all of the points on the pattern for all the points from your waistline upward you need your bust circumference measurement for that all right and all the measurements from your waistline downward you need your hip measurement for that so you need just those two measurements all through the times that you're using this pattern okay so i went ahead and made a copy of this pattern all right so that i don't damage my original copy i recommend you should do that so since we need just this uh, portion so i'm just going to be folding the rest of the portion away so that it keeps it away from distracting you guys basically and yeah so after folding it i have my fresh pattern paper here like so and i'm just simply placing the folded pattern and using the tape that came with this pattern this is the real deal guys this tape is what is actually doing the magic as you can see is completely different from the regular tape measure all right so that's what is doing the magic so my bust measurement now we are getting started just like that <laughs> so my bust measurement is 90 as you can see there are holes on this uh tape right here so just locate the hole where is 90 right so just put the pin in the hole just like that 90 so that's my bust circumference i put it there and on the pattern you can see there are crosses on every single pattern piece so you are going to place the pin at the center of that cross just like that this pin came with the pattern by the way in case you're wondering if you haven't seen my unboxing video go and check it out so after placing the pin right there i'm just pinning it right there on my table and it's nice and secured someone actually commented in one of my videos how my pin is holding up and not falling away that's because i'm pinning it on my cutting mat all right so after pinning it down i'm going to be showing you what we are going to be doing real quick so i'm sure you using a different pattern right now this is not the pattern that we are working on i just want to use this to explain something real quick okay all right so make sure you tape down the little pattern right now so that it stops moving okay so yeah if you observe the patterns you will see that there are little points and there are some small dashes attached to those little points so what you want to do is to make sure that you match the edge of your tape to that line just like that all right and whatever number you can find on that line you are going to be marking it on your tape measure that's basically the principle all right so that's what i'm going to be doing now i'm matching the edge of my tape to the you can start anywhere actually you're matching the edge of my tape to the first number and marking it all right i'm just doing that again so you see and again i'm moving to the next number you can see i match the edge of my tape to that little number just like that and on that little line i have 19 so i'm going to mark 19 and again i'm going to match the edge of my tape to the next small line and whatever number i found on that line i'm going to mark it this line is 28 so i mark 28 again i'm moving to the next point matching my tape to that short dash and whatever number i found i just mark it so moving on to the next is 
I will match the edge of my tape to that small line and then I'll mark 24.5. Actually, I marked 24 and then later I realized it was 24.5. So then I marked it. So again, I move to the next line. It's also 24.5. That's the last time I'm going to be showing you basically because it's just repetitive. I don't have to be saying the same thing and making the video unnecessarily too long you know all right so once you're done with all of the upper measurements then you are going to be taking out the tape and pin and then reposition it to your hip measurement my hip measurement is 102 centimeters so i put it there and then i'm going to be completing all the points that are below my waist line all right so i have just two points right there so i just went ahead and marked those two points and then the pattern is completed basically so this is what the pattern look like once i'm done so i'm just going to go ahead and connect all of the points together using the tool that came with this pattern all right so once i was done joining it looks like this and next i'm going to be drafting out this hashed pattern which represent the facing so i'm just taking 10 centimeters downward like so actually it says we should use three centimeters but i just want mine to be bigger yeah so that is the ash part which is the facing and i'm just putting an notation here to remind me that i should cut this part unfold this is just my little paparazzi you know <laughs> and then i'm adding seam allowance around it use your desired seam allowance just keep in mind that this pattern doesn't come with seam allowance so you have to add it so after that is done and i cut it out it, ha uh, it looks like this and i just want to show you just in case your pattern is too long for you what you want to do is to just fold it in and this is how you're going to do it take a random measurement i'm using five inches I took it on both sides and then from there I'm going to be taking one inch so I'm assuming that is one inch longer so that's why I took that extra one inch up there and then I'm just going to fold it on that one inch you can just go ahead and fold it randomly but I just want it to come out nice and perfect that's why I had to take the five inch measurement all right so after folding is going to be shorter the way you want it without having to interfere with uh, the shape of the pattern itself but let's assume that your pattern is too short what you can do is to just slash it open somewhere there and then put a fresh pattern paper under it then spread it apart as wide as you know extra length you want and just tip it down and that's it so again i'm going to assume that you're dealing with this kind of pattern whereby the lines are not connected to the dot as you can see unlike this case when the line is connected to the dot there are cases like this when the line actually falls outside the dot it looks confusing but it's actually not so what you should do is to ignore those points all right then you should focus on those small dashes and the numbers that are on top of it so just match your tape and just mark the numbers the same way all right so that's it guys for this video i hope you like it please check out the unboxing video as well as other outfit tutorials that i've made using this pattern i'm sure you will like it to get yourself this pattern please check out the link in the description box so please smash the like button for me guys and subscribe to my channel in case you haven't done so already thank you